hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you how I prepare this delicious Delta Banga soup this soup tastes so so yummy with all the delicious Banga ingredients I use in preparing the soup okay guys stay tuned and watch this video to the end so that you see how I prepare this soup come with me to the kitchen let's get started here are my ingredients for this recipe i have here some assorted meats which i'll be using some beef beef and here's some mackerel fish and tilapia fish cow skin which is also known as bomo this is uh, my banga stick you can see that and some dried fish and two mangi cube and this is obele tie tie which is the banga leaf I don't know what it's called in English if you know the name you can drop it on the comment section below and here is my blended crayfish some dry chili pepper and some salt to taste and this also is my banga spices and this is my banga paste that I'll be using this is the main ingredients for this recipe all right guys this is all I need for this recipe let's get started so this is the assorted meat which I just placed in my pot I'm going to be adding enough water to it because I'll be parboiling it and throw away the water okay now I'll be showing you guys how I always do my assorted meat so as you can see the water has been boiling you can see the meat so I always do this because if you see now the water will look somehow dirty and you know our sorted meat especially the ring has a lot of oil so with this way it can melt the oil away so I'm going to be washing it right away so this is after washing the assorted meat I'm going to be adding my beef to it and first of all I will use one manging cube to parboil the meat and I'll be adding some salt to it also. So after that, I just added a little bit of water. I'm going to cover it now, then allow it to cook. So guys, before my meat will be cooking, I'm going to be dissolving this uh, banga paste, okay? You will see I'm going to be doing it because when you do it like this, you see that at the bottom of the water or at the bottom of the uh, banga, you see that there is some uh, some black substance that looks like dirty. You will find it under the, the banga. So I just added some warm water to it. Then I will go ahead and stir it for it to dissolve, okay? the way I'm doing it as you can see it's a bit thick so I'm going to be adding a little more water to it yeah so this is it I will leave it for three minutes for it to settle down so after that I'm going to pour it into my meat so when you're doing this you do it gently because we don't need the black substance under it to get into our meal okay so I'm showing you guys the black sauce. I don't know if you can see it very well. So after that, I will just give it a nice stir so that the meat and the banga will mix together. So I'll start by adding all the ingredients to the banga soup. This is my blended crayfish and this is the banga spice. Banga spices I just added and my blended chili pepper I will not be adding all because I don't want it to be too spicy so now go ahead and give it a nice stir to make sure they are well mixed together so after that I will also add the remaining seasonings 
which is some salt then the remaining mango cube remember i used one to parboil the meat so this is the other one i had it to eat and the banga leaf which is the obele tete oh this name sweet for ee obele tete <laughs> so i'm going to stir everything together okay to make sure it's well mixed Then I'll go ahead and cover it so that the soup will be well cooked. So guys, my soup has been boiling for some minutes. I'm going to be adding the cow skin. I didn't add it at first because it's a bit soft so I don't want it to be overcooked. That is why I'm adding it now. So I also go ahead and add my fish. After adding the fish, I'll just make sure the soup covers the fish so that it will be well cooked. Then I'll go ahead and also add my dried fish. This dried fish is so so yummy. It gives the soup a delicious taste. If you don't have dried fish, you can also add periwinkle. Because you know here in Europe, periwinkle is hard to find, so I couldn't get periwinkle. And of course, this is the banga stick which i just rinse it a little bit and had it to eat this banga stick make it to be more thicker wow you can set the soup i'll give it a nice stir just stir it a little bit because i don't want all my fish to scatter into the soup okay so now i'm going to taste it to see if all the ingredients i had to eat is okay tastes so yummy so guys now i'll go ahead and extract the oil from the soup because as you can see the oil is so much you can leave it if you like you can extract the oil from it so as you can see i'll be doing it little by little you can see the oil i got from it you can use this oil to make any soup of your choice like obolo soup melon soup just name it you are good going to be keeping this oil aside so now I'll go ahead and give it a nice stir again thank you guys for always stopping by to watch my video if today is your first time of coming across this channel you are highly welcome on this channel you see a different delicacy and if you are watching you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button and put all the bell notification so that you'll be the first to know each time i upload for my returning subscribers hold a new god bless you all for always stopping by to watch my video whenever i upload you guys are amazing you guys are my backbone god bless you for me thank you guys i appreciate you all so guys the soup is ready you can see how beautiful it looks that is how it tastes so so yummy guys believe me guys this soup is so delicious if you're still watching this video up to this extent and you love this video please give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed put on the bell notification so that you'll be the first and the first to know each time i upload a new video i will see you again on my next video God bless you all. I love you all. But remember, God loves you most. Bye bye.